Are we ready? Are we ready? This is big. Yes, it is. Video note number 75. We have reached 75. And uh, oh, so, you know, just so very excited about that. Uh, it's great to be doing now. Uh, this is, uh, <clears throat> this, is uh, uh, this serves as a good warning against procrastination because I, I am a master of procrastination, all right? But if I had been down here a couple of hours ago when I wanted to get down here and make this video, the sun was gorgeous and just streaming in the doorway over here. Um, now I have to warn you that maybe you'll hear some thunder <laughs> and maybe you'll see a flash of lightning because it is, it is pouring out right now and we have a, a thunderstorm passing through. Though there haven't been uh, there haven't been many thunderboomas yet, as we would say where I uh, came from, uh, but uh, there there might be a couple. So since this is video note seventy five, and I'm not sure if that's going to show is that going to show up backwards or is it going to show up forwards? I, I'm not sure. I always get that confused. All right, but since this is video note seventy five. And uh, we're, I'm hoping to, to capture a good, uh, a good screenshot here for the beginning of the video, which is why I'm holding it up here for so long. Uh, but uh, just a couple of things. We really, really need uh, new subscriptions. It's not that we don't appreciate you old subscriptions. It, we, just, uh, we just need more and more subscribers to make this thing grow. And uh, one of the things that I've done here locally to facilitate that is uh, I've, I've made up little business cards and they don't have anything on the back at all but they just say notes from the pastor cave and uh, and they say it's a YouTube channel and it just has my name on there DW Price senior and uh, so if if you would like you know a small handful of these cards five ten of them wherever you are in the world because we have some international people just uh, just get a hold of me uh, don't leave your address or you know phone number or anything in the comment section because that could be a disaster for you. Um, but uh, just uh, find a way to get a hold of me. I am on Facebook and, and things like that. And uh, then you you know if we connect, then you can contact me uh, on Messenger and things like that. But uh, but anyways, that's uh, that's our that's our business card. It's uh, it's very classy. I think it's very classy looking. So. Uh, anyway, so we are here with video note number 75, and I'm just uh, I'm just looking at uh, I'm looking at Mrs. Pastor Cave right now. Uh, I'm not sure what she's thinking, but she seems to be thinking something. So I'll I'll close that door when I get a chance. Yeah, I'll I'll get there. She was just worried about the rain coming in, uh, which is like a daily occurrence here. Uh, right, this summer has been like rain like once a day uh, in the afternoon. We are in Exodus chapter 28 and spent uh, you know, uh, uh, quite a bit of time there uh, last time. Uh, and this is the priestly garments. So, so God is giving Moses instructions about the priestly garment, the garments that... Um, here. I was hoping the cat would let me pick her up. Uh, the priestly garments that, that Aaron uh, was supposed to wear when he performed the duties of the high priest of Israel. And then, of course, those would eventually be passed down to his, his sons and his grandsons and on and on and on. Um, and, you know, we saw some little intricacies there, some, some little things there that really uh, just kind of, you know, give us a clue to some things. And this that's... That's uh, what I want to talk about very quickly today, and I don't think this is going to be a really long video. But uh, in, in verse 38, he's talking about, uh, well, 36, he says, you'll make a plate of pure gold and engrave it like the engraving of a signet, or in other words, a signet ring. And this is what it's going to say. It's going to say, holy to the Lord on it. And you shall fasten it on the turban by the cord of blue. So they, they're supposed to make a cord of blue and it's supposed, this is supposed to pass a, a, a turban, just you know, picture your very typical Middle Eastern turban. 
and uh, and it, it shall be on the front of the turban. And then, so this is what it says in verse 38. It shall be on Aaron's forehead, and Aaron shall bear any guilt from the holy things that the people of Israel concentrate, consecrate, not concentrate, consecrate as their holy gifts. It shall regularly be on his forehead that they may be accepted before the Lord. Okay, so... So here is Aaron, and he's wearing this, you know, he's wearing this whole outfit, but he's wearing this turban, and there's a, there's a plate, a gold plate on the front of it that says, uh, it says, holy to the Lord. Well, not holy is the Lord, but holy to the Lord, okay? And this is, this is really super instructive, okay? Because the offerings of the people are accepted as holy to the Lord. In other words, as long as Aaron is there representing both the people and God, and really that he's really doing both here, uh, he's, a, he's a type of intercessor uh, as Christ becomes the ultimate intercessor. But uh, uh, Aaron is representing uh, both the people and, uh, and the Lord as they, as they meet, as they come together. They're coming to this, they're going to be coming to this tabernacle where they present their offerings to the Lord. And, um, you know, there's very specific rules for the presentation of offerings. What's, you know, what's presentable, what's not presentable, and things like that. And there's kind of this understanding from God that, that the people aren't, they're not always going to get it right. You know, that they're that is as sincere as they would be bringing an offering before the Lord. They're, they're not always going to get the little priestly details right. And so the fact that Aaron is there and he has this plate that says, Holy to the Lord, takes these offerings and, and, it, and it makes them holy before the Lord, even if they're not perfect uh, as, as, they, as they should have been or as they should be. Okay, And this is incredibly instructive to us. Uh, because what it tells us is that that first of all, um, it's not, and, and this is the note that I have in in this particular Bible. Um, it, it's um, the, the offerings will be are, are are going to be accepted as holy to the Lord, not because the offerings are really holy, but because God is holy. Okay, so so we we consecrate something as holy before the Lord, and uh, and God accepts that thing. It makes it holy not because the object itself is really holy. It's it's because God is holy, and so so God is able to cancel out you know all, just the fact that it's it's a thing, and and He's able to make it. If you kind of take the word special there, because holy is really separated or specialized uh, unto God. Okay, that's the the idea of holiness. So God can take something ordinary and make it special unto Him, make it make it holy unto Him, not because of the thing, but because of the fact that He is God, and anything, anything, and everything that God touches. And anything that God touches through his servant, Aaron, becomes holy unto the Lord. All right. So, you know, we have, I always keep him here. We have uh, Joshua Chamberlain here of the 20th Maine, uh, Colonel Chamberlain. And, uh, you know, Colonel Chamberlain is just made out of some kind of metal and he's been painted and there's nothing, there's nothing special about him because he's a thing. It's just a thing, right? I have this, uh, I have a pen here. Uh, and you know this this pen is this pen and this figurine of Joshua Chamberlain neither one of them have the ability to be holy or unholy in and of themselves but they, they, they can't they're just things okay they're they are inanimate objects and uh, now don't get me wrong I I can use I can use inanimate things i could use these objects to do something very unholy or i could use them to do something holy but it doesn't affect the fact that they're real or whether they're really holy or not right i can 
I, I could I could write a really nasty letter to somebody with this pen, and uh, and that would be an, a, a you know a, a very ungodly letter to somebody with this pen. This that then I've done something unholy with this pen. However, I could also be inspired by God to write a beautiful song that touches the hearts of millions of people through this pen. Okay, and so it could be used for good purposes, or holy purposes. Okay. But the object itself cannot be holy or unholy. It is only as we give these things, we say, God, here's the stuff of my life. Here's the, here's the stuff that I own. Here's the stuff that you've allowed me to own in my life. What am I going to do with it? What am I going to do with it? And what God desires of people that want to follow him is that we take those objects of our lives, those things that are just things, and we present them to God. Okay? And those things, those things don't become any more holy because we've presented them to God, but they do become special when God enters the picture because he's the one that makes them holy. Okay? So... Um, and it, they are holy because God is holy. Okay, if I have whole, the you know the holiness and the righteousness, right? The Scripture says that that all any righteousness I can produce is is filthy rags. That's the way Paul says it in the New Testament. And um, so up the phone is ringing. Uh, and so uh, uh, you know anything anything I can produ- I can't produce anything holy. I can't produce anything righteous, but as I present my life unto God, then God can take that life and he can make something holy out of it. Not because I'm anything any more special than I was before, but because God is holy. And he you know, endows these things that he touches with his with his holiness all right so and i just love because i brought it up last time uh this uh this beautiful phrase here uh in verse two you shall make holy garments for aaron your brother for glory and for beauty which i just think is fantastic to me it speaks of uh to me it speaks of the artistry of god you know that you god god is saying i'm not just making functional things I'm making things that function, but but I'm also touching them with glory and with beauty. And he does it again. The way I, the reason I bring it up, he says it again in verse 40. For Aaron's sons, you shall make coats and sashes and caps, and you shall make them for glory and for beauty. I, I just am blown away uh, that. It's just, you know, and it's just because everything that we make, right, is supposed to point towards the the personality of god god is glorious god is beautiful he is the creator of glory he's the creator of beauty and so um so as we create these things under his divine hand they point to his glory and to his beauty all right so that's that's it that's going to be it for uh chapter 28 we're going to move on from there next week but so excited that we are at episode number 75 and i gotta make sure the light doesn't blow out the you know see I, you can tell i spent a lot of money on this uh and no, episode number 75 we have reached that mountaintop the next uh, the next biggie will be 100 and uh, very uh, very excited about uh, that coming around the corner don't forget if you want uh, if you want some notes from the pastor cave card uh cards you can uh, uh get a hold of me and i can send you five or ten in the mail and uh just as long as you promise to pass them out don't hoard them okay don't don't just sell them on ebay uh so uh, anyways hey uh i I have very few seconds left vita brevis gloria eterna life is short but glory is eternal happy 75th video